Lady Walker Show. Howdy, 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 and more howdy to you. Welcome to the Lady Walker Show. I am Lady Walker, and love, I have another Jim Dandy of a show in store for you. Mm -hmm. I had the opportunity to attend a workshop. Mm -hmm. It was the fifth annual Literary Aspiring Authors and Writers Workshop that was presented by Felicia Brickens, Inspired Resources, LLC. It was great. It was every bit informative as well as inspiring. Got an opportunity to meet quite a few people. And I interviewed just a few of the attendees and some of the presenters. They didn't get a chance to interview many, but uh, the people that I did interview, they will be in the show. Mm -hmm. But it was, it was really nice, and if you are an aspiring author or writer, this is certainly the event to attend. This was the fifth one, maybe the sixth one is coming up in 2020, so when it does, beloved, please book it. I look at that as being an investment in yourself, in your career, especially if you are an upcoming, up and coming writer or you want to be an upcoming writer, this is certainly an investment. I know you can go out there on YouTube, you can read about it, which is really good, but it's even better love when you go in person and you start networking with other people, start getting a feel in person what these people did to bring that book into fruition. Many of us have books in us. We all have stories to tell, and not everybody is going to tell their stories, okay? But for those of you who feel the need to tell your story, attending Writer's Workshop is certainly uh, the way to go, especially when it is in your neck of the woods. Attend, love, attend. And one lady, well actually I made up quite a few, but one lady, uh, she was really nice. We uh, sat at the same table. Her name is Greta, Greta Bully, Greta Brown Bully. She and her husband Tyrone are owners of Bully's Soul Food Restaurant. In, on Livingston Road in Jackson, Mississippi. And I told her that I was going to come by and taste some of the food, okay? So she was so nice. And another young lady I met too, and for right now, her, <laughs> we sit at the same table as well, but right about now, her name isn't really coming to me because I didn't write it down. And also, beloved, I will have those attendees, some, not all, because it was quite a few people there, and here's the thing, love, I misplaced the tablet with the names in it. Even though they give their names, I wanted to make sure I had the names down so, I was, so that the names are spelled right. But, you know, uh, I misplaced it. So, anywho, uh, check out some of the attendees who attended the aspiring mm -hmm, authors and writers workshop. Howdy everybody, it's me Lady Walker. Listen love, we are at the fifth annual Literary Aspiring Authors and Writers Workshop. Okay, presented by Felicia Brickens, Inspired Resources LLC. So, who do we have here? I'm Jacqueline Jones and I'm from Jackson, Mississippi. Okay, so Jacqueline, tell us why did you decide to attend the event or the workshop? The workshop, right. So I could gain more information. And the number one thing is uh, so I can go forward with this book that I'm writing uh, to find the right publisher. Okay, now I know that we got much more to come, but thus far, what have been, what has been your favorite presentation? 
Um, the favorite presentation um, started on last night with the audio. Uh, okay, you came last night. Uh -huh. Okay, I didn't come last night. Right. Mm -hmm. And uh, the second one is when I learned that um, that was a publisher in house, in workshop. Right. And so my eyes like lit up, and I'm like, okay, Lord, this is from you. Okay. Well, are you a first time attendee? I am. I'm a first time attendee, and I got this ticket through a, a sweet friend and uh, she bought it without me knowing it and said oh, did she? She, you know I'm writing a book and she said you need to go to this uh, workshop because you needed that inspiration that I, motivation to yes, push you on yes. because you are in the process of writing a book yes ma'am I'm actually um, at the end about two, three pages at the end and I've been writing this for a while and um, I needed that push, that motivation. Are you going to self-publish the book or are you going to do traditional way? I'm going to have to do traditional way because I don't know anything about computers. <laughs> okay. Right. It is hard finding good help. Oh, yeah. Okay. <laughs> well, would you attend another one of Felicia Brooks' aspiring workshops for writers and uh, authors? I will. and uh, But not only that, I will... Um, bring a guest with me. Oh, great, right, so great. I mean, I need to get my ticket in advance. In advance, <laughs> because this is the fifth annual, which means that she probably has it every year. Right, I don't know, but I do know uh, this has been planned almost a year ahead of time. And then you tell us about the ticket. Okay, what money is it? What money is it? <laughs> <laughs> really? Really, I'm serious. Well, look, we look forward to reading your book. We look forward to interviewing you in the future when that book comes out. Do you have a target date on when that book will be coming out? I had a target date and it didn't pass. Oh, it's a, that's a, but that's A-OK. -okay. Just don't beat yourself up about it, okay? Right, right. Yes, ma'am. Right, and the name again? Jacqueline Jones. Jacqueline Jones. All right, beloved. Be right back. Hi, I am Greta Brown Bully with the award-winning James Beard Bully Soul Food Restaurant here in Jackson, Mississippi. I am having an amazing time. I am enjoying this writer's workshop with Felicia Brookins. It is great. I have learned so much. Uh, I'm in the process of doing a website. So they gave great information on the things that you should look for and the things that you should do when you're creating a website. Even if you're going to hire somebody to do it, these are things that you really need to do. These speakers have been amazing, motivating, inspiring. Get up, get out, and do it. How you doing? We are James and Natasha King out of Jackson, Mississippi, and we are national ambassadors for the Mr. and Mrs. Black America pageant. One of the things that we enjoyed about being here, we were initially asked just to come and welcome everyone as national ambassadors to welcome them to the fifth literary conference. Um, but some of the things that we were able to glean from today was uh, just the value of having an audio book, very, very powerful information, uh, learning more about search engine optimization, and then just having an opportunity to connect with all the different vendors and professionals that are here. So it's a space for like-minded individuals and to get a wealth of information uh, that's definitely helpful in terms of producing uh, a body of work and providing it out to the public. Thank you so much uh, for this amazing workshop. All the speakers have been amazing so far. Looking forward to the second half and we're looking forward to taking the information, going back and actually applying it to see a grand difference in our own writings ourselves. Thank you so much. Have a good one. Hello. My name is Carol Ann G. I'm from Jackson, Mississippi, originally from uh, uh, Baltimore, Mississippi, a, no, a small rural town in North Mississippi. Um, I attended this writer's workshop because I needed some more inspiration, motivation, and I follow Felicia Brookings, and she always has inspiration and guidance, and she's created this wonderful workshop with a whole bunch of different people from Dixon Marketing and a lot of other people, and like so far, Dixon has given me so much information. They have this lady called Miss Bernie, kind of like a drill sergeant. And uh, I, I, I can hardly wait for her to look at my stuff to tell me, my writing to tell me what direction I need to go in and what I need to do to get it really good for the public. Uh, I just, I'm just so proud. And every time she offers a workshop, I'm going to be looking for her. Like I said, I've got tons of information. My, my notepad is full. And I'm getting ready to turn my recorder on because we, we're not even halfway through yet. So I'm very excited. Hello, my name is Sybil Cole Everett, and I'm from Meridian, Mississippi. 
And I'm here today at the Writer's Workshop so that I can learn how to write a book. I've always wanted to write one. My friend, who is my classmate, Felicia, she invited me to come. And I'm here to support her as well as to learn different things I need to write a book. I've learned about publishing. I've learned about writing either a nonfiction or a fiction book. I've learned about traditional publishing and self-publishing. This has been an all-around great meeting for me. Hi, I'm LaShonda Brown. I am a stylist from Raymond, Mississippi. I am here at this workshop gaining a wealth of knowledge. I came to this workshop because I've been working on a book for about a year. And I think I have what they call writer's block. But since I've been here, I've learned that I'm just in my own way. I need to get out of the way and let the words flow from my heart to the pages as God has given it to me. I highly recommend this workshop if you're writing, thinking about writing, or if you are a writer. So when she hosts the next event, make sure you be there. My name is Ashley Mosley from Denver, Colorado. I'm here with Dr. Denise Dixon from Dixon Publishing Company. This is my first year here at this event and I gained so much. Um, I now know it's time to push, it's time to go, and it's time to move. So my life will change after today, that's for sure. <laughs> Hello, my name is James Dentley. I'm from Chicago, Illinois, and I'm here in Jackson, Mississippi. I'm really excited and humbled to be here. As a speaker, trainer, coach, author, and a success sculptor, I always am so thrilled when I get a chance to meet new people and to share some things that I've learned along the way that helped me retire over 25 years ago and helped 83 people become millionaires. But I tell you, I'm so impressed, I'm so delighted, I'm so excited because this event called Inspired Resources was just incredible. Felicia's doing a phenomenal job. She's a class act. I've spoken to her a few times over the phone and putting together a form for writers, for authors, for people who are publishers, people who have a message, a story, just like you, a story inside of your heart, and you can't wait to get it out. You know, people need to hear your story. That's how you impact the world. Martin Luther King said it best, everyone cannot be famous, because, but everyone can be great, because greatness comes through service. Now, I don't know how often she's gonna have this, but when any time there's an event, I really want to truly just tell you, you have to be there. Whatever's going on in your life, you have to cancel it. I've trained speakers all over the world. We take people over to Spain, to Dubai, over into Bombay as well. And they teach people how to build an international brand. And all the trainers I've been to, and all the training I've seen, this was so impressive because they actually are, are talking from their heart with the content and the knowledge that they have to make a difference for everyone in their audience. So, stop by Jackson, Mississippi, because she's going to be spreading around through cities. The city probably will be near you. You want to check out Felicia and inspired resources. You don't want to miss it. I know I won't. My name is Julie May, the local <laughs> realtor here in the city of Jackson, Mississippi. Preacher, minister at Cathedral Lane Zion Church. And I'm here because I am writing a work. I thank God for Felicia Brookins and this writer's workshop. It has been tremendous. I am writing a work that's designed to help inmates in the prison system. And today I have gotten the knowledge that I need to get started. I am so excited. I thank God. I thank God for Felicia Brookings and the work that she's doing. Thank you. Welcome back, my love. Okay. That was some of the attendees who attended the Aspiring Authors and Writer Workshop that was presented by Felicia Brookings inspired resources llc and i want to say thank you felicia thank you ever so much for giving me the opportunity to come out and sit amongst so many wonderful inspiring people to meet new people okay you got to get out of your little your little circle and expand expand your territory by meeting other people who are doing some of the same things that you want to do you know there's a saying Earn, sharpen, earns, okay? Earn, sharpen, earn. You got to get around the people who are doing what you are doing. And uh, it will or may inspire you to do what you need to do.
to bring that book into fruition. Many books are in people, many books, okay. All right, let's meet some more attendees and presenters. Hi, I'm Janet Brown and I am from Richland, Mississippi. I have a new book out called Deadly Visits. Uh, the publisher is dogwoodpress.com and you can order it, it's $15. And uh, I'm here at this festival with uh, Felicia Brookins and just having a wonderful time and enjoying myself. And I hope that you'll enjoy my book. It's super scary, Ooh. but it's fun. Thank you. My name is Clinton Ford uh, from Natchez, Mississippi. Um, I'm here uh, because we're teaching people how to be healthy. We teach around the world, teaching people how to be healthy and stay healthy. And one of the things I really enjoyed today getting out of this is a uh, young lady was speaking today and she said, you grow, but you never stop, never stop growing. You're always learning and growing and learning more. And that's one of the, one of the things that I've taken out of this. And plus the people are so wonderful. Building a relationship with the people and just being back home has been just outstanding. And uh, I'm a health coach, uh, ex-professional dancer, health coach, and just love people. And uh, we're here to do a, a seminar later on this evening, and uh, we'll be coming back in probably another three weeks or a month, teaching and training people how to be healthy from the inside out, not just from the outside in. And that's basically the reason why we're here. Hey, I'm Tamara Shree, midday personality for 97.7, .7, the beat of the capital. Also, entertainment news host, also interactive media talent. And now I can actually add to the list author. It still feels kind of weird to say that, but today I was actually invited to be here. When I tell you Felicia is absolutely amazing, this workshop was amazing, and I just met some really wonderful people and a lot of talent here. And I even learned some things myself, but yes, my very first book, Surrounded by Sin, Grounded by Love, Eight Simple Keys to Becoming a Better You. Make sure if you do not have your copy to get your copy, all you have to do is go to my website, www.tambrashree.com com or you can go to amazon.com for everybody who absolutely loves amazon prime go to amazon.com and search surrounded by sin grounded by love by timber or you can go to barnes and noble.com and search surrounded by sin grounded by love if you don't want to do any of that guess what you can go to google and all you have to do is search surrounded by sin grounded by love and it will take you right to me but absolutely i think this event was absolutely amazing and i met a lot of great talent here so thank you so much felicia for actually having me here today. Welcome back, my peeps. Listen, one of the presenters said that you can be good at something, 
but you can also be better at something. Get it? You can be good at something, but you can be better at something. And it takes commitment to be better, to have a better attitude, to even change it. It takes commitment, okay? Listen, ponder that, roll that over into your mind. Mm -hmm. It takes commitment, bottom line. And if you want to see some results, you got to be willing to change, okay? In the meantime, we are going to uh, see just a few more, or maybe just a couple more of attendees as well as presenters. Hi, my name is Sandra Palmer, and I'm an inspiring author slash speaker. I have been invited to this event that I have just fell in love. I feel the power of God and the Holy Spirit has brought me to this point. I have been fighting it for a long time, but my longtime friend is my hero. I watched her happiness, her husband. They've all embraced me through the last two or three years of trying times in my family with death of close relatives. And my future, I want to help someone else. And I want to write or speak about mental health in the black church concerning Christians and how it's not discussed, it's a taboo subject and we feel like you're crazy, you got a spell or something is not right with you in some type of trauma and I don't believe that and I don't believe it should be embarrassing. We have high blood pressure, we have diabetes and we treat those and I feel like mental illness should be treated also and it should be put out there by someone that experienced it and a black person. I'm not racist by any means, but, but as black people, we need to stick together and solve our problems because most of the research that's done is on white people. And I've had a couple of white people saying that black women are so strong that they don't have mental issues and we don't have, commit suicide. Even ministers commit suicide. I've known of two ministers in, um, on the Gulf Coast that have shot themselves. Uh, I've known a, a nurse that had everything in the world and she hung herself at her own home. And of course, no black person believed it. They all were like, her husband killed her, but I totally understood, and her co-workers did too, because she was paranoid. She thought somebody was always following her or watching her or trying to take her job. But I want to thank Felicia, this whole conference, the young lady that's filming it right now, the lady that told me or was teaching me and I enjoy the whole entire weekend. And this is the type of atmosphere my heart has been longing for for so long. And I have fought it and fought it and fought it. I have best friends that I feel like they're not supportive, but I still love them. And I feel like they're gonna get with it and come along with the program because I'm not gonna stop them. And nobody's gonna stop me because God said it. And it's done. So uh, my husband is supported, my family, my sisters, and my God. And as long as my God says yes, it doesn't matter what anybody else says. And I am going to be a award winning author, speaker, or just reach out and just touch one person's soul, black woman or a man, but I prefer a black woman. Because we um, portray ourselves and the whole world portrays us as super women that we can do it all and we cannot. We need to take stock in our own lives and just our personalities, how wonderful we are, how different we are. We all come back around together spiritually and that we need to learn to love each other and teach the younger women that are coming up it's not about sex and who has the biggest butt or whose hair weave is the longest. 
It's about inside what God has placed in all of us. And don't stop trying to bring it out if you can. But I am so happy to be here. This is one of the best weekends that I've had in my life. Well, praise the Lord and God bless you today. My name is Beatrice Bruno. And in the speaking world, I am known as the Drill Sergeant of Life. I am an author, speaker, and U.S. Army veteran. These are my books, How to Get Over Yourself and Let Go of the Past, God Has Prepared the Table, Why Aren't You Eating, The Baby Chronicles, Where You Were Before You Were, Up the Down Escalator, Are You Really Saved, and How to Get Over Yourself, Get Out of Your Own Way, and So You Can Get What You Want Out of Life. And the reason I'm here at this conference is because I want to help writers to get to where they're supposed to be in this season of their lives. God has called you to be a writer. He's given you situations and circumstances through which you have lived, by the way, so that you can write these things down. And they're not for you. They're for someone else. And so at this conference, that's what people have learned today. And it's time for you to, to fulfill the will and purpose of God so that you can be exactly where he wants you to be for such a time as this. Now, as a writer, I have found that it's, it's crucial that I not only be a writer, but a reader, so that I can read the things that I need to read, so that God can just empower me with his word, giving me wisdom, knowledge, understanding, revelation, and discernment, so that I can go forth and do everything that he has called me to do for such a time as this. I didn't get here by coincidence. I got here because God purposed for me to get here for such a time as this. I would encourage you, find a conference, a writer's conference, a publishing conference that you can attend so that you can be everything that God has called you to be for such a time as this. Because this is your season, this is your time, and God wants to use you in ways you never could imagine. So again, my name is Beatrice Bruno, the Drill Sergeant of Life, author, speaker, U.S. Army veteran, and writer that's out here helping other writers to get to where God wants them to be. So God bless you. Thank you so much. Welcome back, my beloved peeps. Okay, it's a wrap. It's a wrap. The time has come for me to wrap it up. But I got to tell you like it is. It has been a pleasing pleasure to come into your home to suffer a little tea, java, or water with you. And I look forward to coming back once again into your home. Same time, same channel, Comcast Cable, channel 18. And until then, I am going to plant you now and dig you later. Ta-ta.